I'm here guys, I'm here! Oh, oh, oh! Ah, uh, here I am guys, Sony a7R 3 Using picture profiles, not picture profiles? That is the question, coming up! beautiful people how are you all today in this vlog i'm gonna test the sony a7r3 with no picture profile which means i use the color straight out of the camera all the footage you will see has not been color graded or corrected unless i state so also wanted to test the slow motion at 120 frames per second combined with a couple of g master lenses and the gimbal from dji the ronin s now let's go back to the picture profile why did i test the camera without picture profile because i usually when i travel in particular i take photos and and film at the same time. As you might know, shooting with S-Logs uh, gives you a wider dynamic range. I'm not going into details about dynamic range and all the technical stuff, but basically shooting in S-Log gives you a flatter image and uh, that allows the camera to uh, gather more information that you can use in uh, color grading in post-production. On the other hand, if you shoot with S-Logs for photography, that will bring the brightness of the image down of one or two stops. And that could be a problem, especially if you shoot in low light conditions. Of course you can switch between the modes and the, you know, the profiles but sometimes I forget and so I had to take photos with S-Logs which means my image is quite dark or um, I take videos with not profile pictures so I, have, I, I don't have that range in terms of highlights and shadows that I would love to. And for that reason I actually tested the camera with not profile picture either for filming and for taking photos. In terms of camera gear in this trip to Belgium, I had two Sony a7R 3 and I had a Sony G Master Lens 16-35 f2.8 and a Sony G Master Lens 85mm f1.4. I mainly use the 16-35 for vlogging, so if that's something you're into, um, have a look and see how it performs. I usually used it at around 20mm at 2.8 f2.8. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, we just dropped the bike! <laughs> I use this lens also for establishing shots, a 16mm and landscape images. On the other camera, I use the 85mm f1.4. <laughs> like mama loves it! It really gives an amazing depth of field. It's, it's a great lens and I use it mainly for close-ups or all the b-rolls, basically. And I use it at 1.4. I use all the gear on the gimbal DJI Ronin S. Altogether, it's a it's an amazing kit. It performs really well. Here, I'm going to show you a few clips with not post stabilization. The footage is really really nice and smooth. The only thing with this kit is heavy. So if you do travel vlogs or vlogs in general, you need to carry this stuff. It kills your back, big time. I was testing the DJI Ronin S with the audio as well in terms of motors and I've got the mic right on top of the camera and I don't think it gets any um, noise from, from the motor so it's pretty good stuff. I think overall the colors of the camera are actually great. I love the picture. The only problem as you can imagine was the highlights. So there was not much I could do in post-production. Some parts of the image were just overexposed. Anyway, I put together a few clips with color gray just to give you an idea of the flexibility of the image and have a look, check it out. So going back to my initial question, picture profiles, not picture profiles. Well, I'm afraid to say I have to switch between the mode, especially when shooting outdoors. I still have some problems with the highlights, so I will keep uh, shooting in S-Logs. 
that was it for today guys let me know in the comment below if you want me to make a vlog about any feature of this amazing camera and um, yeah just comment below right here or send me a text or a pigeon or whatever animal you have I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that I mean I take care of it all right thanks for watching share your love I'll see you in the next video Thank you.